Hi everyone, we are back with another war video today, and this is going to be war number 9, maybe 10. Um, but we're going to be going up against the Alliance, this is definitely war number 10, we're going to be going up against the Alliance um, Apollo, and we're going to be bringing Sim Supreme, Crossbones, and Omega Red. This is going to be my first time bringing 7 Star Omega Red in. Uh, I haven't used him before. Kind of regret the rank up, but you know. It's Omega Red. We have an Omega Red player in our battle group who takes most of those fights, so that's the main reason for the regret. Um, first fight, we got Gore here. I'm going to use a Combat Regem instead of a Power Start 1, as I don't want to use too many Power Start 1s unless I need it, as I am running very low. Um... Besides that, this fight's very simple. We want to get to three parts of power with the 100 genetic code, which we're going to do right here. We're going to throw the special three. And that should make this fight very easy. I think I get close to two bars of power here. Nope, we get full three. All right. And this is going to kill. So, super easy fight. Um... And yeah, it just made sense for me to take this path because I'm bringing some Supreme for a Serpent Mini. I think this ward's node 42. Next, we have Electro. Uh, I did consider using Crossbones here. Um, it would have been fine. But I was bringing Omega Red, so I figure I might as well. <laughs> did that cost me units for the Master Change? Yes of course. Uh, but besides that, you know, it should be fine. I think I do make a mistake this fight. I think I eat a special one because I'm bad. Um, but yeah, this is super easy. Obviously, any medium attacks or heavy attacks, you don't take um, the shock damage. N only bad part about this fight is as he gets buffs, I may not have my parry stick. Then he played super passive, which was not great, obviously. Then he threw that, and I was bad and ate it like I said I was going to. Um, but as you can see, I mean, he had less than 200k health. This fight is a joke. We're going to bait out special one. We're just going to take it in the block, and then he's dead. Um, so pretty terrible Omega Red play. I did used to be good with Omega Red. I do want to say that. <laughs> um, but yeah, I haven't used him in three or four seasons. Ever since I moved to Battle Group 1, I've not used Omega Red before. Um, next, we have Leader here. He's a bit of an annoying defender, for sure. Um, we are going to combat regen. I'm not worried about dying here. I'm just worried about this fight taking a long time. And I don't play great for kind of all these fights. I was a tiny bit hungover, to be honest. Um, so not my best play. I also am not 100% sure how leader's kit works uh, as you'll see i'm building to clarity just doing medium attacks as i know light attacks give me debuffs and we're gonna throw a special one we have clarity now i wasn't sure how much i needed to worry about being outside of his little door thing in the middle of this the map so i did not i try to stay out of as much as possible i also did not have a dual target for this as i didn't buy the bundle um so a lot of this, I I just wasn't 100% confident on his animations uh, since I only fought him in EQ. But as you can see, the fight's going fine. Um, and when I ate the special one, you saw I wasn't really close to, you know, taking a lot of damage. I'm at 98%. So at no point in this fight was I worried about dying. It was more just... How long am I going to drag this out? Just not really fully understanding his animations. And there's no reason I couldn't have got a good amount of debuffs on me. Um, obviously, inequity would have made it kind of a pain in the ass. But besides that, it would be fine. But I just keep doing mediums only to not get debuffs on me. And then heavy attacks as well. And I don't do a great job of managing his protection. But yeah, this fight's going down fine. Relic. 
combo, special one, and he dies. So, yeah. Two minutes for a path fight's not great for sure, but um, overall, it was a completely fine fight. Next, we have Atuma. You're going to see me do another mastery swap. Um, and we're going to use Mega Red. I am going to be better this time with Omega Red. Um, obviously, we don't want to parry here. Um, it's pretty easy to heavy counter Atuma's special one as long as you do it when he doesn't have a bar of power because then sometimes he can react very quickly and throw it right away. Um, we have suicides on. We have the combat regen. I guess I am going to throw a potion just to be extra safe. This is Omega Red's last fight. And we're going to go in here. So main thing here... Don't eat heavy attack, and then this fight should be a joke. Other thing is you want to throw mediums only. As a light attacks, you will take his thorns damage. Here I'm going to heavy just to lock in. I was a little nervous <laughs> because of how bad last time went. But we do get a little bit more spores up. Now that we're 19, this fight is basically done. So we're going to play nice and safe. Here we're going to bait another heavy in our corner. Again, I used to take a Tumo a lot when I used Omega Red. So very comfortable doing uh, corner play when needed. And he goes down. So next we have Serpent on Node 42, one of his more common placements. Um, I'd say most of the season I've seen him 42, 43, and 46. Um, main thing here, I just want to get to three bars of power before I throw my special three. Ideally, I do want a heavy attack to knock him down, get the protection off first, but if not, you know, no big deal. So we're just getting some staggers up. Looking good. Here comes his power gain. It's going to give us a good amount of power. And then we get a heavy. We get our special three off just before it transitioned to the next blessing, which would have reset our genetic code. But got 100 genetic code, we got the knockdown, and that should make this fight very simple. Didn't get exactly two bars of power, but we're going to eat all this in the block. We don't want to parry, obviously, as it is when I open. We're going to throw our special three here. I think this gets us special two. We're going to dex into it. And then we're going to throw our special three. This is before the protection goes on. Not off cooldown. Comes back off cooldown. Um, and I think we might eat one special two or special three. Here I'm holding block. We're at three bars of power. I'm going to throw it just to get the protection back off. No, when it does kill. So, I forgot that his uh, death immunity or whatever the hell it's called went on cooldown. Um, our next fight, which I think this is our last fight, is going to be Crossbones versus Arcade here. Um, this fight should be pretty easy. It's kind of hard to die here because Arcade doesn't do very good damage. Um, I do play pretty poorly. Um, like I said, I was a little hungover. <laughs> um, but yeah, you know, you want a heavy counter arcade, heavy attack to remove his little token things. Again, I don't have an arcade dual target, so I'm 100% unnecessarily, well, to get to my clarity, I do want a heavy. Here, I'm trying to bait the special one out. I'm very hit or miss on it so i think i'm gonna heavy counter oh one combo into this special one now we got clarity again then we can start playing normally there i do fully dex it and then i am super late with the punish yeah, this fight definitely is very sloppy. Again, heavy punishing to get remove the tokens. 
and then I'm scared to punish, but now we also don't have clarity, so I am playing smart and waiting for the heavy attack. Oh, we're going to special one to get the clarity back. So, yeah, as you can see, I've been taking an absolute beating, and I'm still at almost 100% health. Special two, we're just going to eat it all on the block. Trigger our overrun again. Throw our special one. Again, just throw a special one just to keep the Fury Buffs rolling. Let's keep our clarity up. That one I do actually full dex and punish a special one, so I'm not terrible. And now we just have a tiny bit left to go. And I get the dex again, so. You know, we got better <laughs> without a dual target getting that done. Um, that is, yeah, that is the end of my war. Um, for this f war, we do end up winning. Um, Paulo kind of fell apart at the end, which helped gift us this win, um, but not our best play. I think we died eight times and they died 10. Um, we did have them beat on time, but yeah, definitely could be better. Um, that does put us in a really good spot going into the final two wars. We are top 10 at this point. So hopefully we can finish strong. I think if we win, not a think. If we win one of these last two wars, we should finish top 10, which would be great. Um, if we lose both, we should still finish Masters. But, you know, based on attack wins and everything, it's still very much um, not confirmed. But that's going to do it for this video, though. Thank you for watching.